Hey guys, this is John the Hedgehog here back for another episode of Mega Mega Man of uh of uh, Devil May Cry uh, Devil May Cry. In the last episode we did uh mission ten and now we're gonna do mission eleven and onward. So yeah. Let's go. Anyways, uh with me today I have Caleb. Um he's playing his own game. And uh I am uh, you know um Normally, Tyler, I mean, Infiltrator would be here, but, uh, he's, uh, Muff doing his own thing. I don't know where he's at. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. I got Air Raid, which is really good, because that, that gives Ifrit, uh, the ability to double jump. Double jumping is really good. Now... I could just like if I could you know, do this, there we go. There we go. That I have to beat that thing in order to progress. Or at least get that there. Um, so basically what you want to do here, first off you want to get all the orbs here because there's a lot of, there's a lot of red orbs here and stuff like that. So you do want to do that. Um, hope you all having a good day. I know I am. Actually, also, uh, I don't know if y'all can notice, but I'm actually playing on a smaller TV, and, uh, it's, um, we're, I'm not having the problem anymore with, with, with the flickering, so I'm gonna be, you're gonna see a little bit better gameplay from me. But anyways, um... I think, yeah, there's something useful up here. A double star. Double stars are always useful. Yep, you're gonna be going in that room right there. But first, before we do that, I'm going to get this real quick. Now, I know there's something else in there, but I don't know how to get in there, so. That's the thing. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Alright, so what you wanna do, you wanna go in here, in this hole. And fight this, and fight this ED Also, um, off screen, I, uh, got maximum amount of double triggers, so this is the most double trigger you can get in the game. And this one, this part actually confused me a bit when I was a kid, when I was first playing. You actually have to hit, hit this wall with your sword couple of times. Yep. Alright, like I said, pretty easy. We go up here. Jump up there. Then you get this thing, it's the sign of chastity. Yeah. 
Now the enemies do respawn. Alright. Yeah. Pretty easy. And I got a blue orb fragment. I got a blue orb fragment. I believe you always get that blue orb fragment there, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Anyways. I think, does it say anything? There's an inscription. Those w without the sign of are not worth such a chance. Walk the dark path towards the light of sorrow. The sign is confined in the cave of doom. Yep. Basically, with the sign of chastity, that's what we need to get the chalice out. Which is the whole point of this, of this mission. Let's get the chalice out. I do believe, I think we have a boss fight here as well. We have a boss fight here. I think we do. Anyway, it's protected by, by a magical barrier. Put the chastity in there. And there we go. Yep, we have to fight uh, Neil Angelo, I think, twice. Second half. Yep. Hello. Yep. Actually, you know, let's try, uh, let's try Ifrit. See what Ifrit does to him. Ow. Attack him with the double trigger and he'll and he will go down. Yep. Bye Neil Angelo. Statue of the Night. It looks like something was placed here. Should I have used chalice? Yes. Chalice. Now you go through this door and the mission's over. Alright. I got a B. Yay. We're going to save. Alright. 
on to the next one, the ghost ship. This next area, um, yeah, it gives you this. Um, you're, we're going to be equip ma getting a weapon here that is only used in the underwater area, and uh, this part of the game never really came back because nobody really cared for it. But, yeah. swimming mechanic, but it's definitely decent. And uh, don't fight, just don't fight the enemies because you won't be able to take, you won't be able to, to fight them in underwater areas right now. It's not until you get the weapon that you won't be able to fight them. Which in fact, there we go. Those ones are dead. And there is the needle gun. And that is how you will do damage to the enemies that are underwater. That's how you do the damage. I don't remember if there's anything back there. I don't think there is anything important, but we can go back there anyways. Just to check. We're supposed to go up, but I think there might be something over here. Yeah, whenever you're in this area, get ready to spam the the B key. Pretty soon we're going to be fighting another boss. Pretty soon here. Now, if memory is correct, we can get some stuff up here in this area. Jack, fuck. There we go. Get 
some red orbs here. There's a couple of there's a yellow orb right there. Fall all the way down. Go over here. There's some stuff over here as well. That, like I said, sorry for the lack of commentary, but like, oh, I got it. Oh, no. fight these guys. This is kind of a warm-up to what's going to come. Good thing you do get healed here, so that's good. I used to do that. Now we're going to the underworld. Hey Griffin, how's it going? Now of course, the best way to do this is with Ifrit. Ifrit does more damage. There we go. He did. 
What? Console is getting too hot. Because it said the console is getting too hot. The fuck? I, I give it a break, man. The fuck? I never had that happen before. Hold on, let me... Is it still going? No, it's not. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Ow. At least I, th I hope so. I mean... Um, uh, uh, hey guys, um, I, I hope, I hope that I was recording, still, still going, um, that was For fucking, once it was not the recording that fucked up, the fuck, that was weird, it got too hot, yeah, what, now you gotta have a fan there, I've never seen that before in my life, well, I think it's a good time to end it off here, yeah, um, anyways, that's all we have for this time, so if you like this video, uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment on the screen. Wait, how many videos did we get done? Did we get two uh, or one? More awesome content. Uh, two.